What is going on? I love your shirt. Oh, you guys like uh, Dragon Ball Z? Krillin with hair. This is Gohan in the Frieza saga. Bowl cut. Yep. Yeah, I could say I'm a fan of anime. What can I say? My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Lastly, you can check out all my other content by clicking the channels button on my YouTube page. We are going for world domination. Other than that, enjoy the video. All right. Currently plat one. Played three games of sack. Oh shit, wait, your stats are actually cracked. I feel like my aim's good, but I just, I'm just inconsistent. Even last act, wait, you had pretty decent stats last act too. These are really good stacks actually. How long have you been playing for? Uh, Since the game came out. I didn't play the beta though. Gotcha. We'll get into it then. No, I mean, looks good though. That's look great. Okay, looks like we're going B here. So we've got a go, so this is a good buy. You can either go Sheriff. There's not really a wrong buy on Jet, if I'm being honest. We have smokes. Oh, we don't spam here. Yeah. I think spamming there through the smoke was a big grief. Our immediate priority should be getting the site, clearing site, rather than worrying about some random spam in a smoke. This is gonna be very hard to win. All three of us are one shot. Oh, good try. Uh, okay, we kind of just let Raina with a bomb go out door here. We can activate our smoke, dash. Our team's not even close to us. It's not a problem. Okay, this was a, this was scary. It were, ended up working out, but this was actually very scary. What do you think uh, went wrong there? I kind of went solo. Yeah, there was a couple things like leading up to that too that was a little scary, but that part right there, 100%. We kind of just decided to like push out by ourselves. We were not in the best spot. Like we were exposed from like spawn. We were exposed from tower, ledge, and then like drop as well. It was kind of scary. I think we took too much of an aggressive angle there. One thing too, also when entering into site, always make sure that your teammates are ready and they're close enough to take advantage of you dashing in. The dash in is really good to take space as a duelist, but you want to make sure that your team's also ready for that too. So just call me beforehand. Hey guys, I can dash in like, or I'm dashing in. Just something like this so they're on the same page. I mean, same thing ended up happening with the tracker review. They used to be $5 and then we got a ton. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like playing Reina. Because of that. The amount of times that they're pushing through arcade, like they're they're playing aggressive arcade and then coming underneath is insane. We need to start punishing that maybe. Uh, we could wait outside of arcade and then hold the push maybe. I think it's just because we're playing like a little bit too telegraphed. Like everyone on our team is just grouping up in one area and that's just like usually the site that you end up hitting. So if you ever notice like this happens in your games where they're just pushing everywhere, we need to start spreading out, let your team make the noise and then just start punishing them for that. So let's go arcade this round. Either this jet or Reina is going to push this. Nice shots. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. We start. We have to start noticing these trends and punishing them for it. He <laughs> pushed. He pushed through. Oh, God. Next round, we're going to wait outside a dish for him. We just got to keep punishing these people for, for being the rats that they are. We should have went drop. We should have went drop this round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go late drop. Here, pull for the arcade to push. Yep. Let's try. We did get the kill on the stage though, which is good. Yeah, I think you buy here for sure. Uh, and then spread up, go get away from your team if possible. Go arcade, go arcade. We need to start spreading out because your teammates aren't doing it. We, we have to be the ones doing it. Just walk, just walk up arcade here maybe. Let, let your teammate make a lot of noise and then start walking in late. Nice shot, nice shot. Uh, I would fall and go back with your team maybe if possible. Just group up your teammates if possible here. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Good job, good round, good round. So you never, you never want to fall in this trap of like kind of grouping up always with your team, especially when things are not working. Even though you're duelist, even though you're jet, don't even worry about that. That's that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is just like making sure that we're getting like map control or creating space elsewhere on the map. So that seemed to work. Let's do it again. Let's just spread out. Let's go. Let's cross the rope again. You have to updraft here. You have to updraft, updraft. Yeah, and help them out. <laughs> there's one on site. There was two in main and there was one on site. That's that's crazy. I thought they had all pushed up. I thought so too. Yeah, that was unfortunate because the wall was there. Yeah, yeah. I think just because our teammates are all just dropping like flies. We have to like updraft there and try and help them. But do you love me? Damn, these people are just holding W and they're winning. That's the problem. Yeah, there's Jet and Reyna. 
I would say force, but we're so broke. Like everyone's so broke. I think you have to. You have to force. Yeah, just go spectre light armor. Yeah, I'm like positive this Reyna and the Jet are are smurfing. I don't know. They're just oh, that or they're super confident. They're having very lucky games, but the way that they're just literally holding W and winning every gunfight. Yeah, I think you have to force again. I'd go. I'd honestly. Yeah, you you can either go like Spectre, uh, Lenormer again, or nice. Man. Okay. Nice. Really good damage. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So, was that, was that, someone, <laughs> was that someone on your friends list named Joel's daddy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I told him that I got coaching with you and he changed his name to that. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Yeah, so one thing I probably would have done a lot earlier, just making sure that we're communicating for a team. I'm not sure if your team calmed it when, when they died uh, on B, but just make sure that we're calming for that for our team. Just like, you know, three here, four here, just so they can start rotating a lot earlier and they can help you. Another thing too is I'm noticing that we're playing too passive with our rotations on defensive side. Oh my God, already in spawn. That's flash. Damn. Yeah, it just felt like Jed and Reyna that they were just kind of like holding W and taking a lot of free space on defense and attack side. But it's it's hard to say if they were actually smurfing or if they were just having like a good game and then they rolled with that confidence and that's why they were able to do that. But yeah, the biggest thing that I, I want to bring to attention like is on attack side. So this is just something that I don't know if you would have been doing if, if I wasn't saying it, but just noticing that their patterns, like what are they doing? Where are they pushing from? Where are we dying from, right? And a lot of the times that they're just dying from like pushing like other areas, right? Like they're, they're pushing either arcade, they were pushing drop or something and we want to start to punish that if we start noticing that that's exactly what they're doing every round yeah we want to start holding for that and punishing them for that because otherwise they're just going to keep doing it and they're going to keep punishing us for it because we're not punishing them so our goal isn't always to just entry and run into sight and be the first one out like that's not entirely what a duelist job is to do and it's not like oh i'm playing jet i just must like you know do this every single round and then you know go into it and you can do that especially when you guys are rushing and everything seems to be working but if it's not working rushing isn't working because they're pushing like let's say the second you guys start making a sound these people are pushing through b main and then they're just gonna flank you and then they start pinching you in, into a main you know it, it's not looking good or our team likes to just like clutter in an area and they don't push out they just kind of like group up in a main and then they just like don't do anything and then you're the only one you throw a smoke you dash in your team's still in a main you die you get and then no one's there to kind of trade you so once i start to notice these kind of things i am not going to be entering into site if, if they're not going to push in after i calmed exactly what was going to happen i'm like okay probably not going to go entry with them anymore so what i'm going to be doing is like basically taking space elsewhere and that's the purpose of a duelist is taking space now whether that's taking space in a site with your team or taking space elsewhere on the map the biggest thing to understand is like when should you spread out spread out and start running like a default the biggest thing to to take away is like when we should be doing this is when we are noticing that they're pushing everything so when when i notice that they push through here two rounds in a row and they just start fighting us b main i'm like okay i'm just gonna hold for this guy and i'm gonna hold like this like you know weird angle or maybe i hold like this um and then catch this person trying to play aggressive and then start punishing them for that and after we get this pick it's not like we have to just like hold w and go in like after we get a kill like this it's not always just like oh time to go in i just got my kill it could just be like oh it's a 5v4 now and I'm kind of low, so I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to fall off. I'm going to just dip and group up with my team. And then maybe now we can entry now that we have the numbers advantage, right? It's this sort of line of thinking that'll that'll help you a lot and, and make you a little bit more, more consistent because consistency issues on attack side specifically, it could be that, you know, one game you're playing aggressive and you're entering for your team and they're not playing super aggro, yeah. like pushing everywhere okay now it's gonna work right and they're rotating slow okay now this this strat works but as we saw last game that these kind of strats don't work always like you can't just play the same way every single game it doesn't work like that there's too many moving parts in this game 
for you to just play like super static where you're just like all right going with the team we're gonna run in right it just doesn't work that way uh it's more about just like adapting to seeing exactly what's happening like if we're noticing the rotating slow and they're like they're they like to play anchoring or uh, anchors like on, on their site and they take nine years to come to b site okay well we're just gonna entry into site and we're just gonna take you know we're gonna do what we normally do and then wait for our team to push in and you know then we take the site if you notice that okay once we start doing this they're playing super aggressive um Here. and and pushing through a main and pushing through drop and they're taking all this space so it's like okay now we gotta slow it down now we gotta like spread out and start punishing them for their pushes so it's just about like on attack side it's just about like understanding the habits that they're doing and punishing them for that and and understanding Man. that like not every game is going to be the exact same way and you should be playing it the exact same way so that, i think that's like one of the most important things to to understand especially when playing duelists well all right hopefully that yeah. helps yeah thank you yeah no problem no problem best of luck in your in your ranked games and i hope you have a good rest of your day you too see ya if you're interested in coaching yourself click the link in the description click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time so if you want to win free coaching be sure to comment down below your discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video i'll be picking out a person randomly